Honor have just launched a new affordable flagship series, the Honor 20 and the Honor 20 Pro. These phones have a strong emphasis on photography, with the Pro rocking a new quad camera system. It's a Kirin 980 powered handset and comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. As usual with the Honor phones, some effort has been put into the appearance of the back with its dynamic holographic design. Honor call it an immersive aesthetic, using three layers and a fairly complex manufacturing process to produce the effect. There's a glass layer, a color layer, and a third piece that they're calling the depth layer. The final layer is made up of millions of tiny individual prisms, which create the illusion of the depth and result in this beautiful and unique design. Honor say that it's a tricky manufacturing process and out of every 100 backs that are produced, only 20 pass their stringent quality control standards and are actually used. Before I go on, let me just say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles for looking after us here at BTEC. Over 24 years of award-winning customer service, definitely worth checking out if you need a new phone. Check down in the video description below for a link or search directmobiles.co.uk. So Honor is a brand that is aimed at younger people and over the years, the colors and designs have reflected that. However, this time I feel that the design will appeal to a wider range of people. It seems a little bit more grown up than usual and they've managed to make the quad camera system look pretty good and fairly distinct. It has its own look and doesn't look exactly the same as the P30 Pro. And I think it looks really nice. The screen has the smallest hole punch that we've seen yet at 4.5 millimeters. And I think it really does help being a bit smaller. It's not quite as distracting as the hole that we saw in the View 20. They've gone with the 6.3 inch screen this time across both the Honor 20 and the Honor 20 Pro, giving it a 91.6 screen to body ratio. It's a great all screen display with no fingerprint scanner tucked underneath. This time they've placed it on the side. It's not a power button, it's just a touchpad. And if you've used a side scanner before, you know that it's a great placement for it. I don't think I've ever heard anybody complain about a side mounted scanner and it is nice to see companies still using it. But the main draw for this phone has got to be its quad camera system. It's a 48 megapixel main sensor with the widest possible aperture that you can have on a smartphone at the moment at f1.4, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with an f2.2 aperture and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 brightness and a 3 times optical zoom. And finally, there is a 2 megapixel macro lens, which is the small lens to the right of the array. Honor have said that this is a professional grade camera, giving you plenty of versatility with all the types of lenses that you might find in a DSLR photography kit bag. The 48 megapixel Sony IMX sensor will of course combine those pixels to give you a very detailed 12 megapixel shot. And with that f1.4 lens and a high ISO of 102,400, this phone should have very good low light capabilities. You also get all the usual bells and whistles that you get with Honor flagship devices, including super slow-mo at 960 frames per second, as well as an improved night mode, using its AI stabilization to steady the camera and give you a sharp shot in very poor lighting conditions. I think this is definitely the best looking and best equipped handset that Honor have ever made. So I feel really bad for them about being banned from the Play Store and all of Google services. The timing really couldn't have been any worse for Honor. And it's not even clear right now if my review unit will be banned from the Google services or not. I'm heading out to the launch now, so I will find out very soon. But anyway, that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button. Lots more from BTEC coming up very soon. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's at BTEC or add me on Snapchat, david.btech. Thank you for watching guys. My name's David and this is BTEC.